Welcome back to Tight Lining Maryland. What we're gonna do here today is we are gonna tie a fly, and it's one of my confidence patterns. Um, part of the reason why we're tying flies is that throughout the winter, I figured that this would be a good opportunity for you to see some of the things that I believe in, some of the ways that I tie it, and hopefully uh, something that maybe you can add to your arsenal if you're not already using it. So what we're gonna do today is tie a blowtorch, and that blowtorch is gonna start with a size 14, you can tie it in 16, you can tie it in 18. Um, you know, I typically don't tie in 12s and 20s. Um, 20s, I feel like a lot of times are reserved for, you know, finer dry flies and 12s are kind of reserved for maybe like mop flies and squirmy worms. But I'm typically somewhere around a 14, 16, or 18 um, and 16's becoming more of a primary. So we've got on a size 14 jig hook and that hook has a nice little curve right there. And as a result, what you're gonna need, and this is critically, important is you're gonna need a slotted bead. So we're using um, a size 3.0 slotted tungsten bead. I would say that somewhere around a 2.8 or a 3.0 is gonna be a good size for this particular fly. Um, I tend to oversize the bead and you know, on a size 14 or 16, put on a 3.0, even though a 2.8 might be slightly better. So to start this particular fly, what we're gonna do is just like any other good one, we're gonna put a little bit of a base right here and we'll build a dam right up behind the bead and basically all you need to do is just keep it nice and tight and build that up so that basically that way that bead isn't going to move down the uh, the shank of the hook. So at this point now what we can start to do is basically just wrap headed back down towards the base and now would be a good time to snip off some of the excess. We'll just get it as close as we can. Sometimes there's gonna be a little bit left over, but I think that's good enough. The good news is it doesn't have to be really pretty here on the back end. You know, I can see I've got a little bit um, here sticking out the back. And the reason why that's not a huge concern is what we're about to tie in right now is if you can see it right here, and hopefully it's focusing enough for you, is that we've actually got some glow bright floss and I'll put that on camera here in a second, but basically it's the equivalent of about eight strands. And what I want is just enough coming off the back and in order to do this effectively, what I find is I'm gonna do a pinch wrap where basically I've now pinched the um, thread here of this 140 denier, and now I'm gonna slide that down in and that should be nice and tight. And I'm gonna do a second one just for good measure. And now that we've gotten two good pinch wraps in there, what we can do is basically just cinch down the rest. That should be nice and tight. We've got our tail coming out the back. That is definitely a preferred you know, option here to have this glow bright floss. And as a result, we can just snip off the top. Perfect. We can save some of that for the next time that we tie a fly. So that's what I like about tying with the Glow Bright floss is that whatever we snip off, we can basically you know, use for the next fly. So I just wanna make that a nice little bit more even, you know, as I come back down the fly, kind of securing in again, the, uh, the floss here on the back end. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our pearl tinsel and we're just gonna tie this in. I'm gonna put it right up against the fly and just wrap this down and on. So now we've secured our tinsel and we'll wrap back down to the base right by the tail. So now that's sticking out right there in the back with our tailing material. We're gonna take a little bit of Iced Up Peacock. It's a nice dark green. That's my preferred color. You could also tie it in you know, an olive brown. That's another material that I've got for this particular fly. I prefer the darker green. I just think it gives it a more um, buggy, natural type of look. In order to get this down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of our dubbing wax, which is just by Wopsy. Nothing special here, but a premium dubbing wax. I think that helps just keep it, you know, a little bit more clingy to the, the actual thread. So we'll just spin this on, nothing special here. You could probably do a dubbing loop, that's something that is a, probably a viable technique here. But for us, we can just spin this on. I've had no issues, especially as I use more of the, uh, the dubbing wax, kind of keeping that cinched on to the, the fibers here uh, on the actual thread. Now that we've got our ice stub on there and we feel pretty comfortable about where that's at, we can start to do our wraps, taking that up towards the head. Okay, so that looks good. And at this point we could just do a couple wraps right around the head. We're gonna end up with a hot spot collar right up there anyway. So we've got our 
fly ready to go now. We can start to wrap this coming around the back to the front. We're going to do about three wraps. Good. Get that fourth wrap right at the top. And then what we'll do to cinch that down is we'll go behind with two wraps. And then we'll also go in front with two more wraps. Okay, so at this point now what we can do is we can cut off as close as we can this pearl tinsel. Good. And at this point, we're ready to build up that collar. We've already got a couple turns in there. So we'll do two more before we do our whip finish and finish up this fly. And one of the last things we'll do is we'll hit it with a little bit of UV clear finish. Put that right where we did our whip finish here. Put that right around the top. And we'll hit it with our UV light. Okay. And what you got now is a nice blowtorch. I think the tail on this is running a little bit long for my liking, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to trim just a little bit of it, get it nice and even to the length that I like. That looks a lot better to me, hopefully looks a lot better to a fish, and that's it. That's your blowtorch.